positive proton. She was born a long time ago, a ten billionth of a second after the Big Bang created in that great inferno. She survived the mass annihilation when the universe was one second old. Only one in a billion baryons made it and went on to become everything we can hold. Almost 400,000 years later, the first atoms became stable. Little Polly acquired an electron, and they're nearly inseparable. After the first supernova, there was oxygen floating around, created by the alpha process, and little Polly was chemically bound. She was part of a molecule of water. At the time of the solar system's birth, she became part of the accretion disk that eventually formed our Earth. Yeah, the one we live on. Now Polly experienced gravitation. Polly joined up with the comet's core. She was getting ready to change the climate, so suck on that, Al Gore. The comet crashed into the young planet Earth. Polly melted into the sea. They say a lot of the water we have now arrived very suddenly. Polly was part of the primeval ocean when the Earth was still young and hot. There was no atmosphere, there was no life, but Polly was not distraught. In the blazing sun, she steamed away and floated in the sky so black. She condensed on some dust and put her trust in gravity and rode on back. It wouldn't be the last time. Yet Polly the proton's been everywhere around this old galaxy. Polly's been part of a glacier and Polly's been lost in the sea. Polly the proton's been down your throat and past to your left kidney. Yet she's been drunk, she's been pissed, been frozen, she's been dissed. And what she loves the most is being great. Polly loves the Yeah. 